Welcome everyone back to the Real News Network. I'm Jared Ball here in Baltimore. We're going to talk in this segment with Tom Big Warrior Watts, who is editor of Rising Sun Press, about a new book he has been involved with and wrote an afterward for, uh, and for which I wrote an introduction. And it's called Panther Vision, Central Party Writings and Art of Kevin Rashid Johnston, Minister of Defense for the New African Black Panther Party Prison Chapter. So Tom, welcome to The Real News. Thanks for joining us. Greetings. So Tom, if you would, just if, uh, uh, for those who may not be familiar, say a word or two uh, about who you are and your experience with uh, political prisoners and prison activism. Uh, and then let's turn to this book about uh, a My Generation era political prisoner, uh, or the writings by a My Generation political prisoner, Kevin Rasheed Johnson. Well, I was an original White Panther back in the 60s, and since then been involved with all kinds of organizing. But uh, back in the 90s, uh, I'm also a uh, mixed European uh, Lenape ancestry, and uh, my Lenape chief asked me if I would take over his prisoner correspondent as he was in failing health. And uh, I did, and I started a newsletter, and by the year 2000, I decided what we really needed to do was create a warrior society in the prisons, uh, which we did call the Red Heart Warrior Society. And then there were, you know, some of the members were also black and thought it would be a good idea if we started a, a parallel uh, warrior society for African uh, Americans. And we did, which was called the Black Brigade. And then out of that grew uh, the New African Black Panther Party prison chapter as a, a faction within. And then, um, you know, kind of emerged and, and became the center and uh, the vanguard of what we were doing. So tell us, if you would, help us understand a little bit about who Kevin Rasheed Johnson is and how you came to, uh, uh, or how he came to his new African Black Panther Party consciousness, and then uh, a little bit about what he's written in this book, uh, and the art that uh, people are looking at as they're watching this segment, uh, which is clearly, obviously, in the tradition of Emory Douglas and the original Black Panther Party, uh, but uh, stylized and updated, if, 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 if folks will, uh, with Kevin's uh, uh, generational uh, input. Rashid was one of the, the original members of the, the Red Heart Warrior Society. Uh, and uh, his artwork, what's amazing about it is he does it with a, a, a regular, you know, ballpoint pen, but not, they don't let him have a whole pen. He gets the refill. So he has to hold that little point and you know, he makes those incredibly detailed uh, pictures, which just, you know, shows a little bit about the, the discipline that the guy has. Well, his artistic discipline is matched clearly by his political and philosophical discipline. Uh, if you would yeah. say... Word I, to... I've always been amazed with Rishi. I mean, he's the kind of person you never have to explain anything twice with him. He's like, he, his mind just grasps everything as quickly as it comes at him. So let's talk a little bit about the, the, the well, the, those politics and that philosophy, uh, this, this new African Black Panther Party, uh, which we would want to distinguish from the new Black Panther Party. This is not the same organization. Uh, the new African Black Panther Party prison chapter that Rashid is, is a, a seminal member of has its own politics and consciousness and, and political legacy, so to speak. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about that? Well, the New African Black Panther Party is really a continuation of the original Black Panther Party, and in particular, uh, a continuation of the, uh, the Black Panther Party prison chapter that was uh, led by George Jackson. And that was the starting point. And it's, you know, it's developed the line since then, but the, the, it's, there's a lot of parallels to the original Black Panther Party particularly like the interplay between uh, Rashid and Chaka Zulu is, reminds me of the interplay between Huey and Bobby Steele. And we should let folks know that Chaka Zulu is another co-founder along with uh, Kevin Rashid Johnson of this new African and, and Black Panther Party chapter. Chaka is the chairman and uh, Rashid is the minister of defense. 
and also the chief theoretician. Uh, so this interplay, as you say, that, that is akin to the interplay that existed once upon a time between Huey Newton and Bobby Seale. Um, tell us a little bit more about that politically or in terms of what their ideas are or how they're looking to deploy those ideas today, uh, especially given the political climate that we find ourselves in. Not a lot of people are talking about these ideas, popularly at least. Uh, there's there's it, there's an, a, a, a difficult media environment to crack with these kinds of ideas, um, but tell us a little bit about what what ideas they're dealing with and what they're advocating, and uh, how you'd like to see this play out. Should their politics take hold as as they and others would like to see happen? Well, the the mentors of the of, of Rashid and and Shaka were really guys that uh, had been original Black Panther Party members. Uh, people like Samuel Angel Coley, uh, who has since passed, uh, who were imprisoned, you know, during the 60s and 70s and, you know, were just left on ice. But being on ice kind of preserved their uh, political, uh, ideological political line. A lot of the counterinsurgency stuff, uh, particularly, uh, you know, pork chop nationalism and stuff that has been heaped onto the black movement since the demise of the Panther Party didn't really have that deep an effect on them and they were able to like sweep that away and uh, get back to uh, what Huey was talking about in 1970 with revolutionary intercommunalism. Well, Tom Big Warrior Watts, we appreciate you joining us for this all brief, all but two brief segment on Kevin Rashid Johnson. We know that people will appreciate the art in this new book, Panther Vision. Uh, we appreciate your contribution to it and for coming on The Real News to talk with us a little bit about it. Uh, thanks for calling me, and uh, I hope everybody gets out and gets a copy because it's, it's, I think, the most important book that's been written in a decade or more. All right, and thank you at home for watching here at The Real News. For all involved, again, I'm Jared Ball in Baltimore saying, as Fred Hampton used to say, to you we say peace if you're willing to fight for it. So peace, everybody, and we'll catch you in the whirlwind.